Hello, and welcome to this channel. In today's video, we will take a look at the gorgeous Elizabeth Olsen, sister of the former twin child celebrities Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who took all the attention and spotlight when Elizabeth settled for less. We will chronicle her incredible rise from the relatively unknown to the shining star she is today. So, make sure you watch this video till the very end, because you don't want to miss it. Whilst you're here, kindly subscribe to this channel if you've not done so, and turn on the notifications icon to receive alerts whenever we upload new content. Now, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the world of Elizabeth Olsen. Her Beginning Elizabeth Chase Olsen has become a household name in Hollywood. She has starred in several blockbuster movies since her big break in 2011, when she starred in the critically acclaimed movie Martha Marcy May Marlene. Since then, the 32-year-old has not looked back. She has gone on to win several nominations and awards for her spectacular work on both the big and silver screens. She has also graced the covers of several notable magazines with her beauty and elegance and has become the dream of many young girls. But it wasn't always like this. For most of her childhood and teenage years, Elizabeth was largely ignored, both by movie producers and the general public. Her twin sisters, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, grabbed all the headlines and attention. Mary-Kate and Ashley, who are two years older than Elizabeth, started their acting career when they were just nine months old. The twins had their own movie and television production company, which was responsible for churning out movies movies and TV series. The production company Dual Star Entertainment Group produced about 14 feature films, two musical video series, and three TV series, all featuring the twins. Though Elizabeth Olsen played a part in some of the productions, she was limited to a minor role or cameo. All eyes were fixed on the twins, as they were the toasts of most television viewers and cinema goers back in the day. Elizabeth had no choice but to watch her older siblings steal all the limelight and leave her in their shadows. She knew she had to do something. She didn't hate her sisters, but she wanted a piece of the limelight. She wanted to feel how it felt to be celebrated, loved, and adored. There was no doubt that Elizabeth Olsen had some level of popularity. She was known, not for her acting skills, but as the younger sibling of the twins, and nothing else. Elizabeth Olsen takes a break. So after walking in their shadows for three years, Elizabeth Olsen took a break from acting and public life to focus on herself and her career and to build the image she wanted. Sadly, her long absence went largely unnoticed because everyone's attention was still fixated on her twin sisters, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen wanted to break the mold of being in her sister's shadow, and the only way she could do that was to hone her acting skills. Elizabeth Olsen polishes her talent. In 2009, Elizabeth Olsen enrolled in the Moscow Art Theater through a program at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center in Waterford, Connecticut which was responsible for training seasoned actors such as John Krasinski, Emily Burgle, Michael Douglas, Jennifer Garner, and Gordon Clapp. After spending a semester at the prestigious theater center, Elizabeth Olsen made her way to the Tisch School of the Arts in New York City to polish her talent. She later attended the Atlantic Theater Company in New York City, where she performed and excelled in several off-Broadway theater productions. She used stage productions to polish her craft and hone her skills so that she could rub shoulders with the creme de la creme. Elizabeth Olsen's Breakout Moment it was during this time that she landed her first breakout role in the highly acclaimed movie Martha Marcy May Marlene, where she played the main protagonist who had a mental breakdown due to years of abuse at the hands of a cult. The world now stood up and noticed the long-forgotten sister of the Olsen twins. Six years of hard work had finally paid off, as Elizabeth Olsen received numerous praise and accolades for her excellent portrayal of the titular character. She was nominated and awarded by several award schemes, and Hollywood began to take note of her awesome talent. Around at the same time, her twin sisters had fallen down the pecking order and were no more the darlings of Hollywood. They hardly got any roles and had become disenchanted with the celebrity life. According to reports, the last film to feature Mary-Kate was Beastly, a movie loosely based on Beauty and the Beast, which was produced in 2011 and directed by Daniel Barnes. In 2012, the twins announced their resignation from acting to focus on other business ventures. Her movies Elizabeth Olsen had finally arrived. She took the center stage by storm and relatively Delegated her twin sisters to the background. Her great performance in Martha Marcy May Marlene landed her another main role in the psychological horror movie Silent House, directed by Chris Kentis and Laura Lau. The film told the story of a lady, Sarah, played by Elizabeth Olsen, who was persecuted in her family vacation home in the countryside. The movie performed well at the box office, garnering about $12 million on a budget of slightly over $2 million. Though critics panned the movie, Elizabeth Olsen received generous praise for her outstanding performance, both from the critics and the general public. She was nominated and won several awards for her awesome performance in Silent House. She won the award for Best Breakthrough Performance from the Alliance of Women Film Journalists, and was also 
also awarded for Most Promising Performer by the Chicago Film Critics Association. The Vancouver Films Critics Circle in Canada also recognized her efforts and gave her the award of Best Actress for the year 2011. She was now in the spotlight, the light she had always craved for since she was a child. This brought her to the attention of several Hollywood movie producers and directors. Elizabeth Olsen was finally getting the attention she deserved. Her next movie was Liberal Arts, written and directed by Josh Radner. The comedy drama film portrayed two lovers, Jesse Fisher, played by Josh Radner, and Zibby, played by Elizabeth Olsen, who first met at a retirement party organized for Jesse's former lecturer, Peter Hoberg. The two begin a roller coaster and emotionally charged love journey, filled with comedy and drama. The movie received a fair rating from most movie rating websites, and once again, Elizabeth Olsen was commended for the realistic and charming way she portrayed her character, Zibby. In July 2012, Elizabeth Olsen starred in a psychological thriller, Red Lights, which was written and directed by Rodrigo Cortez. Olsen was now playing in the big leagues. Her star was now shining brightly, and everyone admired its brilliance. The movie featured seasoned actors like Cillian Murphy, Sigourney Weaver, Leonardo Spiraglia, and Robert De Niro. In the movie, Elizabeth Olsen played the role of Sally Owen, an assistant to Sigourney Weaver's character, Margaret Matheson. She helped her professor to investigate the fraudulent activities of the psychic Simon Silver, played by Robert De Niro. Olsen's role in the movie Red Lights seemed to fit in perfectly with her education, as she was studying psychology at New York University at the time. Thus, with her background in psychology, she was able to perfectly interpret her role and play it impeccably, drawing praises from the general public. In recognition of her enterprising talent, she was nominated for the BAFTA Rising Star Award in 2013. A host of movie directors and producers were hot on the heels of the rising star to feature in their movies. The young prodigy who struggled to land major roles in her childhood was now a hotcake in Hollywood. Everybody wanted a piece of Elizabeth Olsen. However, she did not allow all the fame and attention to go to her head, as she worked harder to improve her skill set and become a household name when it comes to movies and TV series. Her hard work paid off as she landed another major role as Mia Doucette and Marie Sebastian in Spike Lee's American remake of South Korea's hit movie Old Boy, featuring established stars like Josh Brolin, Samuel L. Jackson, and Charlotte Copley. Old Boy tested the skills of Olsen as she played dual roles. Mia Doucette, the daughter of Josh Brolin's character, and Marie Sebastian, a nurse who happened to be the love interest of Josh Brolin's character. She brought her incredible acting skills to bear in the movie, which saw her receive lots of acclaim despite the movie's poor performance at the box office. Next for the rising Hollywood star was the biographical film Kill Your Darlings, shot in 2013. The movie chronicled the lives of members of the Beat Generation, a network of authors whose literary works influenced post-war America. Olsen played the character Edie Parker, the author of the memoir. For the first time, her fans and cinemagoers discovered that there was more to Olsen's talent than met the eye. The movie Kill Your Darlings represented Olsen's breakaway from almost always playing the victim of physical and psychological torture to a brilliant author who is witty and a deep thinker. The movie received and won several nominations, including the Venice Days International Award at the 2013 Venice Film Festival. Elizabeth Olsen was then cast as a lead in the erotic thriller In Secret, where she played the role of Therese Raquin, a lady locked in a loveless marriage to her cousin. Though the movie was a box office bomb due to its over-familiar storyline, the actors and actresses received praise for their magnificent performances. 2014 saw the then 25-year-old Olsen cast in the movie Godzilla, starring Bryan Cranston and Aaron Taylor Johnston. Initially, Olsen was reluctant in joining the cast of Godzilla, but was later convinced after she saw some of the movies the director, Gareth Edwards, had worked on. Olsen was cast as Elle Brody, the wife of the main character. The film was both a commercial and a critical success, as the critics praised it for its direction and action. The following year, Olsen received the enviable call to join the cast of Marvel's Avengers, Age of Ultron, as Wanda Maximoff or Scarlet Witch, a lady with natural telekinetic ability who possesses the chaos magic that gives her the ability to alter reality. Elizabeth Olsen pulled off the Wanda Maximoff character expertly and made it her own. This led to her own spin-off miniseries titled WandaVision, which started airing in January 2021. Some of her notable works include Wind River, Ingrid Goes West, and I Saw the Light. 
Gradually, Elizabeth Olsen rose up the ranks and served as an executive producer in the web series Sorry for Your Loss, in which she also starred as a grieving widow. Elizabeth Olsen has now become the dream of her childhood. She has gained both national and international recognition for her on-camera personality and acting talent, while her elder sisters, the twins, have gone into obscurity. The Ugly Duckling has grown into a beautiful swan. From a non-entity to a celebrity, Elizabeth Olsen is the epitome of hard work. She is an encouragement to everyone that with the right attitude, talent, and hard work, it is possible to scale heights and achieve the unimaginable. Looking at how fast Elizabeth Olsen is rising, one can only conclude that the sky is definitely not the limit for the budding actress. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you loved it, then hit the like button and let us know what you think in the comments section. If this is your first time, I'm here, we encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more juicy info such as this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.